Have you ever broken off a relationship with someone you really loved because their family was absolutely nuts? What was their family like? Mystery of Stuff My first girlfriend when I was 20 was a character, but her family was on another level. First time I met her and she came to the door in, very sheer, at that, bra and panties, and then hung out with us like that for a couple of hours. Never put any clothes on. Nobody else seemed bothered by this. I also once saw her aunt and uncle, naked, in her backyard, basically screwing by the pool while my GFS mom snapped photos. I could go on, but I think this is enough information to convey how crazy these people were. Yes my first wife. Her parents had no concept of boundaries. Her older brother was in and out of rehab all the time. Her sister turned tricks to pay for drugs. We foolishly thought that we'd be able to keep them at arm's length. But she felt guilty and let them pull her back into their dysfunctional fucked up lives. After a while I couldn't take it anymore and we split. Fortunately we had no children. I'm sorry for you dude. My ex-wife had a similar family. She just kept pulling them closer in hopes that we'd all be able to get along, which had the same result it just made things 10 times worse. Luckily we didn't have any kids either, but I blame myself for not knowing much about her family before we started dating and she didn't talk about them much. I guess she wanted it to work it between us too. Either way, I feel for you. We were together 10 years. His mom cried all the time and made everything about her. Her children pooled their money to buy her an expensive TV for Christmas. When she opened it, she burst into miserable tears saying it wouldn't fit her favorite TV cabinet. Then repeated how disappointed she was to all the family all Christmas. She also referred to her daughter-in-law as the vessel that provided her grandchildren. I'm on the other side of this question. My family are worthless piles of crap who would diss the Pope for attention. I mean, there is something seriously wrong with them, and I have no idea why I wasn't infected. Long story short, brought a girl home I was dating, and it went exactly as I thought it would. First thing out of my stepdad's mouth? Doesn't he, pointing at me, have a tiny dick? You should come over here and sit with me. It was like an old school cartoon. Could have sworn I saw dust kick up with how fast she took off out of there. In a similar boat I told my so early on in the relationship I was no contact with my folks. I told him I could arrange a meeting for him, but that there would never be an ongoing relationship between me and them. We've been together four years and he trusts that I'm right and that they're not worth the time. Plus, he's got enough of a cool family for the both of us. Not the sole reason, but it played a big part. Family is prominent in psychology so a large part of their interactions are just trying to diagnose each other and those who come into their lives. It also didn't help that the parents of my S-O had seemingly been running up a tally on how much it cost to send them to college and raise them and tried to leverage a $300,000 balance for repayment when they graduated. Oh, but that balance was only a front to motivate their child to become financially independent and or marry into money. So not only did I have to think about how we were compatible, but I was seriously having to consider taking responsibility for paying their parents $300,000 if I wanted to marry them. I honestly wanted nothing to do with their family as a whole. The mother wanted to get her daughter with nothing short of celebrity and having a BMW 7 to drive at the minimum and work visa as soon as she landed in US. I paid business class for five of them to come visit and basically measure me up. Said no even though I loved her since college days. Ex's mom heavily recruited me to join her cult where you bow down, literally prostrate like head to the floor kind of thing, to a guru and donate dollar dollar money monthly to fund this guru's lavish lifestyle. Even my ex knew she was nuts, but wasn't willing to stand up to her. Ultimately it just became too much of a problem, couldn't hang out at their house, arguments over not standing up to her, that I broke it off, and thank goodness. A guy I really thought would work out had extremely racist parents. His dad would call me black whore and worthless under his breath constantly. 
Although he never completely defended them he often downplayed the seriousness, which I understood because it's your parents. I get it. But it got to the point where dealing with his parents' verbal abuse was mentally exhausting and made thinking of a future and raising a family with them around horrifying, so I had to let that one go. He broke up with me, but I made the choice to walk away entirely despite him asking us to take a look at it and give it another go. His family is extremely toxic, codependent, and his mother is straight-up narcissistic and a cancer to his life. They would never, ever, ever apologize for what they did to me, our relationship, any of it. So when he tried to come crawling back I said no, healed, and moved on with my life. I loved that man and wanted forever with him, but I refused to live my whole life with people willing to cause great mental harm to me and my child for the mere sin of establishing and sticking to boundaries. One of the reasons I broke up with my first serious boyfriend was because of his family. He came from an Indian, Hindu, background and didn't want his parents to know he was dating a white girl. Yes, the stereotype is true. I once sent him a birthday card, his mother found it, and apparently freaked the hell out. After two years, I didn't want to be a part of that anymore. It was far from the only reason, but it was a factor. I did, for more reasons than that but yes, her mother was an incredibly bad influence on her. The mother was as mad as a box of frogs and really poor judge of character, so she would pick nut job men who would do stuff to her that actually endangered her life on a regular basis. I would then be called and expected to bail her out of trouble. Got a call at 3 am, to fetch this woman who had been left on the side of the highway, drunk out of her mind by her reject of a boyfriend, she was an hour out of town in the middle of nowhere, on a weeknight. This sort of thing used to happen with monotonous regularity. Eventually I just gave up. This happened in a crime-ridden country in Africa, it was so so lucky she wasn't a victim of a very serious crime. A friend in middle school had a mother that was very controlling. She acted nice and sweet towards me, but would try anything she could to distance her daughter from me so that she could be around more popular girls or something along those lines. I wasn't exactly the best or most popular. I was a quiet nerdy girl with ADHD. My mom revealed this to me one day and it crushed me. It somewhat damaged my relationship with her. Mystery of Stuff